oh, you don't know what I did. Okay, let me explain to you. I just subscribed to PCM Fin on YouTube. <laughs> and it is absolutely free and very simple to do. So, I beg you, before you watch this video, please subscribe to the channel. And do not forget to click the notification bell so that you will get updates of our new edifying and powerful contents. And two more things, share the video with friends and family and drop your comment at the comment box. God bless you as you keep watching PCN Films. Love you. To Felis, my love, as the apple tree among the trees of the wood, so is my beloved among the sons. I sat down under his shadow with great delight, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. He brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me was love. To Victoria, my love, behold, the hair is as a flock of goats that appear for monkey led. The teeth are like a flock of sheep that are even shown. Wood came up from the washing. The leaves of my spouse drop as the honeycomb. Honing and make a hundred the tongue. And the smell of the garments is like the smell of Lebanon. By night, on my bed, I sought him whom my soul loved, but I found him not. I will rise now and go about the city, in the streets and in the broadways. I will seek him whom my soul loved. I sleep, but my heart wakes. It is the voice of my beloved that knocketh saying, open to me, my sister, my love, my dove. I rose up to open to my beloved. But my beloved had withdrawn himself and was gone. Victoria, you can't take the ring. It kills. It is a poison covered with sweet honey. The sweetness is just for a while, but the bitterness is for life. The pain is like the venom of a serpent that kills fast. The ring looks good and pleasing to the heart. It also pleases my heart. He loves me and I love him too. The love between us is true love. Please, permit me to collect this lovely ring from him. My heart desires it.
man is not the type you can marry. Both of you are not compatible. You are not equal. Do not be yoked together with an unbeliever. For what does righteousness have in common with wickedness? It is unlawful for any child of God to marry an unbeliever. Daughter, why do you want to walk on the path of destruction? Do not embark on a journey of no return. Why are you working against the counsel of God for your life? Behold, there is a way that seems so good to man. But the end of it is destruction. I know that Felix is a non-believer. But does it mean God cannot change his life? If Felix and I get married to each other, what can use me to win his soul? Ma, I will make all efforts to see that Felix gives his life to Christ. Who knows? Maybe God allowed us to love each other because of his salvation. Felix is the man my heart chooses to marry. If sinners entice you, do not consent. It is not given to anyone to save lives. It is only Jesus that has the power to save lives. But leave me alone and let me do my way. Is there anyone among the congregation present here today that has a reason why Victoria David and Felix Akiola should not be joined together in holy matrimony? Let that person speak out now or forever remain silent. Yes, 
nostri nasce, no cresce, nostri nasce, no cresce, nostri nasce. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Seek Him for the way, you will know the truth. Ask Him for the way, He will show you the way. Unknown destination is an unknown barrier. This is the day that the Lord has made. Ha! Victoria, it has finally happened. I have two good news for you. Sister Mary will be getting married next month. Praise the Lord. In fact, we sisters in the house will celebrate it in a very special way. Oh. What is the matter? I expect you to be very happy about Sister Mary's wedding and my relationship with Propita. Instead, you look so sad and sorrowful. What happened? I love you so much. Vivi, please, come and take your place in my heart. I love you with a passion. And without you in my life, life has no meaning to me. Felix, how many times do I have to tell you that we can't get married to each other? Let's continue our friendship and forget about the cheap relationship. I can't marry you. Can't marry me. No, I can't. If that is a condition, no problem. But don't be surprised. If you hear that committed suicide, as soon as you get now, I mean you sincerely, I am going to poison myself. Felix, don't do that. You know I can't sleep to stand it. I know you love me. And I also love you. You are awesome, gifted and talented. Felix. You are a person to be proud of. God endowed you with extra wisdom, knowledge and understanding. You also come from a very rich family. If it is my heart desire, I will choose you as my crown. You will I will love for the rest of my life. It's very painful that my dreams and desires can never come to reality. Don't drink or smoke. But you move with bad friends. Just always attend nights, parties, and clubs. So, what's the matter? You have refused to attend church. It is not the will of God for any of his children to get married to a stranger who is not part of the family. Fenix, you are not born again. You mean, without me becoming born again? You love between us, 
It's just like a flower that can never survive the presence of the sun. I, a terrible sinner, she accompanied you, born again, child of God. <laughs> that is not possible. In fact, it is a sin without forgiveness. Venice, I don't like your behavior. Well, whatever you like, you can't say or do. That is the whole point of it. Just see me home. Are you alright? Of course, I'm alright. I don't think so. I only changed my mind to attend the VG in our church instead of party. You know, to raise the last part of the month. <laughs> oh boy, you can't be serious. You that find it so difficult to attend common Sunday service. Here you are talking about a Fiji. I'm just too funny. You see, let me tell you this. Go in and dress up and let's go for the show to go and catch some fun. Stand. Fred, I am serious about it. And I won't mind if you can follow me to church. And wait, please. Are you sure you are worried? Maxine, I told you about Victoria, that SUK. Mm -hmm. And you know that I love her so much. So, the only condition she gave to me after several toasting is to become a serious Christian. Maxine, I love intoxicate me every day. So, I have no alternative than to dance to her too. It was after the preaching for a pastor last Sunday that I gave my life to Christ. You did what? In fact, you are the greatest fool I have ever seen on earth. Just because you fell in love with a girl, you then decided to be a fool by accepting Jesus. Victoria, oh, I mean, Sister Victoria. Oh. She wasn't calm because we are going to church together. Maxwell. The best decision and choice any man can make in life is to accept Jesus. You might be thinking that I became a Christian because of a lady, but I personally believe that that was how it pleased God to work out my salvation. Are you see? No, it's not part of the fruit of the spirit. I trust you. So, are you ready? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. just going and get my Bible. Master, we are set for the vision. How we get together? Wonders shall never end. Faith. 
Jesus. You be original, Mugun. And if they are looking for a first class madman, they should just call for you. Oh boy, you disappoint me. You disappoint me and your vows. So, if a lady texts you to dip your finger into the hole of the serpent, it means you can actually go ahead and do it because of some stupid love. Huh. Oh boy, I'm highly disappointed in you. I won't deceive you. Felix, you've made a mess of yourself. a reason and a bird does not fly without a cause Victoria tell me what happened to you hmm. God has done wonders in my life he has shown me kindness what I thought was not possible God has made it possible Jesus put a song of praise on my lips an unspeakable joy in my heart. The Bible says there is a great joy in heaven over a soul that repents. Hmm. Of course, there is a great joy in heaven over a single soul that gets saved. So, Victoria, who is this sinner that has repented? My love, mother pleases my heart to marry. But I found it difficult to give him my hand in marriage because he was a non believer. But now, this story has changed. Ma, are you not happy about Felix's salvation? It is my joy seeing sinners repenting and turning to Christ. But Victoria, the counsel and the will of God has not changed. Felix is not the right man for you to get married to. I don't see any reason why we should not get married to each other. Do you want me to go out there and get married to a woman? The fact that both of you attend the same church does not mean you should marry 
each other. Daughter, why are you going contrary to the divine counsel of God for your life? Please, don't lead God. Allow God to lead you. Victoria, don't run ahead of God's time for your life. It is very, very dangerous. Exercise more patience. Your time will surely come. A lot of God's promises and covenants for his children do not come to fulfillment. They all get buried in the grave of ignorance and disobedience. Yet, it appears as if God is no longer faithful concerning his covenant. Many anointed men and women of God with wonderful ministries have failed and made a mess of their glorious name. Yes, Mistakes. Mistakes. How? Many Christians with divine purpose make great mistakes at the value of decision. Many will have fulfilled their God's given vision in life. Why thousands will have got into heaven without a problem? Alas, all these are dreams that never come to pass. All because of wrong decisions they make in marriage. The choice you make at this valley determines how your destiny will end. And it also plays a vital role in the fulfillment of God's plan and purpose for your life. Your choice at the valley of decision you surely tell about your destination. Be it heaven or hell. Victoria, you two have got to the valley of decision. And it is the most crucial stage in man's life. Daughter, does the clay say to the potter, What are you making? Does your word say he has no hand? What to him? Horace with his liquor. Victoria, it has been shown unto you what is good. It is left for you to make your choice. Counsel is the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Yes, coming. Friends, good evening. Ah, I mean, good afternoon. Sister Victoria, why are you hurting swiftly? Nothing. Are you sure? Yes. Please have your seat. Um, Sister Vic, are you coming for the Bible study this evening? No. Why? Have you forgotten that Pastor mentioned your name last week as the coordinator for today's Bible study? I know, but I won't be able to make it. Our prophet is, is aiming for the Peter to handle the Bible study on my behalf. I'll try and see that on Sunday after service. Okay, no problem. I will deliver your message.
Are you surprised to see me out this afternoon? Of course, you used to come here every day. But I never want to see you once in a month. <laughs> I'm very sorry for that. It is just that I've become busier than before. So, I am no longer important in your life. <sighs> no, you miss so much to me. <laughs> um, Sister Vic, just this morning, I remember that today is your birthday. Um, I know that if I fit to mark it for you, you are going to start a second world war with me. <laughs> Um, so, here are the small gifts I bought for you. Thanks. Uh -huh. Um, have you gotten the money for your project? No, I'm here to get it. I think I should be able to do something about it. <laughs> okay. Here is a check of 100,000 Naira. So, make use of it for your projects and some other things you might need the money for. And mind you, I am not letting you this money. I give it to you as a token of my appreciation of what God has used it for in my life. But, but Felix, this is too much. Talk of the gift. Money. Oh, deserve it. So, I've done nothing. Okay, I'm very grateful. And thanks for the long okay. Victoria, oh, I'm sorry, Sister Vic. I mean, stop all this drama. What have I done that around all this praises and appreciation? Well, I have to take my leave now. Because I need to put the instruments and the PA system in order before the baby story time. So I have to leave now. Oh, Sister Vic, how very glad if you can make this evening baby story. You know, we are examining a very crucial topic obedience to God's way. I will never trust you. Oh, that is very good of you. Bye for now. And oh, no, no, don't bother yourself. Please, kindly you take your rest. God bless you. Bye. Bye. made the call during the service in the church to specially pray for young ladies that are yet to be in a relationship I was shocked and confused when I saw you among those small small girls Victoria do you mean you are not yet booked to any man at your age I'm still praying I'm believing God for the right man waiting on God for Mr. Wright <laughs> My sister, you need a change of orientation. Victoria, it was in the holding days that God was in the business of choosing a wife or husband for his children. But now, you have to do the job with the wisdom of Christ in you. Genesis 24, 67 says, And Isaac, brought her into his mother, Sarah's tent. And he took Rebecca and she became his wife. Without prayers or seeking the face of God, Isaac gladly went for Rebecca because she was beautiful. And through their lineage, Christ came to the world. If we have to go with the teachings of our pastor, I 
petition. Because you will have to wait till eternity. Even some of our pastors, during their own time, failed to practice what they are teaching the youth of nowadays. Victoria, you need to open your eyes widely and look for a handsome brother who has a bright future that is visible and stop wasting your time. After all, you've been praying and now is the action time. I mean action time. There's nothing wrong in you as a sister proposing to a brother you fall in love with. Victoria, the devil you know is better than the angel you do not know. You need to think about it. If you have to go with the teachings of our pastors, I petition you. Because you will have to wait till eternity. You will be you need to open your eyes and look for a handsome brother who has a bright future that is a sister to you. I will stop wasting your time. The detail you know is better than the danger you did not know. Do 
the Lord. He will save you by His hand. Though the promise made to you, God makes God makes everything beautiful in His own time. Hold on to Him. God makes everything beautiful in His own time. Hold on to Him. God makes everything beautiful in His own time. Hold on to Him. God makes. Everything beautiful in his own time, hold on to me. It may be late, hold on. It may be delayed, hold on. It may be quiet, hold on. It will speak out good things, hold on. God makes, God makes everything beautiful in his own time, hold on to him. dreams and what is God has given you concerning Brophelis. What step do you expect me to take? You know, I'm deeply in love with Felix. I love him with all my heart. What is all this rubbish you are talking about? This is the issue that has to do with your personal life and destiny. You are telling me you love him. Victoria, this is not love. But lost! Tell me, what excitement can one get from a relationship which God is not involved in? Victoria, can't you think right? Can't you reason about all the scary and terrible revelation God showed you? The Holy Spirit revealed those secrets to you so that you can take the right step and not to fall into the trap of the devil. He that digs a pit shall surely fall into it. Victoria, why are you digging a pit for your sin? Hmm. I encourage you to permit God's will and counsel to prevail in your life. In any case, This is my advice. Go and tell Brophelis that you are no longer interested in the relationship. I should do what? Tell Felis I am no more interested. Yes! Go and break up the deadly relationship with him. How will I say it? Truly, he proposed to me. But that was then. Since he gave his life to Christ, he has never said anything related to it. I am only assuming that he still has it in mind due to the way he relates with me. I am very sure one of these days he will make him. So, Prophetess has not even proposed to you. Oh my God! Victoria, I'm highly disappointed in you. Then tell me, what is the meaning of all the arrogance and disobedience to the Holy Spirit? Hey, hey. 
do you know? If Bro Felix has gotten engaged to another sister, and you want to kill yourself because of a brother who has not even proposed to marry you. Ah, God. Well, there is no problem. Anytime he makes a proposal, tell him there is no way. When the time of God comes, he will provide you your own man. Grace. I will not deceive you. If Felix proposes to me today, I will not turn him down. It is not compulsory for God to support or have a hand in the man I love to marry. Is it the gift of the spirit, talent, bright virtue? I know it does for me. I want to talk about all the love he shows me. After all he has done for me, you still ask me not to marry him. Whatever anybody wants to say, I don't care. That is my choice. After all, we see all believers who do not know God. Have we happy homes? Not talk of we that know him. I will fall in the Bible where God permitted his prophet Balaam to do his way. Therefore, friend, let me to do my way. Felix is my heart desire, and that is my choice. I now see. It is not ordinary. Something is going wrong somewhere. And if care is... I don't blame you. After all, you are engaged. My next month will be preparing for Sister Falake's wedding. Sister me. As you can see, our parents are very angry with you. All because you failed to bring a man into this house. In a couple of weeks, you'll be through with your master's degree program. And yet, you have no hope of settling down with a man of your choice. By November, you will clock at three years of age. Auntie, you are not getting younger. The main reason daddy is post tied to you is because of my wedding that will take place in October before my national youth service in the month of November. Hmm. Sister Victoria, if you see any man that promised to marry you, please don't hesitate to give your hands to him in marriage. Good men are very scarce nowadays. If you are in my shoes, you will know how painful it is for a lady of my age not to be engaged, especially seeing her friends getting engaged and married. Ah. Victoria! 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 Jesus! It was the pastor that sent me to you. He said he would be the one to be the evangelism team of the church to build out this coming weekend. Uh, you should also prepare for tomorrow's Bible study. Prophetess, what would those who want to learn how to play the Zuka instrument? Please be checked for training. Are you interested? Yes. Which of these two men does Your Majesty want to learn? Mm, I wish to know how to play the sax piano. Or what to teach me? Why not? I'm at a service anytime, any day. Thanks. The training will start in two weeks' time. I will put it in mind. Prophetess, let me be on my way. Prophetess, I hope you are alright. The statement you made that this is your house reminded me of something. I've been battling within my heart for some days. In fact, it gives me sleepless nights. Um, Sister Vicky, 
Don't let me delay you. I will tell you another time. No problem. I can still spare some time because you mean so much to me. God's plan and purpose. God fearing husband. Peaceful and joyful home. Three children. Two boys and a girl. Role model to young ladies. Riches and prosperity. Sound health and long life. Eternal security. Davis marital life. I gave my life to Christ. I realized that I was wrong for asking your aunt in marriage. Though the love I have for you is one of those things that led me to Christ. But I personally believe that that was how it pleased God who got the salvation. I discovered that. Mary is not what one can rush into or has one rush out. It demands a lot of patience and prayers. Well, not to beat about the bush. Sister Vic, I. Sister Vic, I. I still love you and I want us to come together as husband and wife in order to fulfill God's purpose and cancel for our lives. Um, you see, I am not sincerely. I have prayed and fasted a lot. I am very sure that it is the will of God for us to come together. I also confirm it for my prayer partner, for James, and some other men who come in the town. So, I urge you to go and pray about it. Truly, the Lord has showed me a lot of things about having a relationship with you and where it's going to end. But this is this not, is not the right man 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 to get married to you. Sister Vicky, but what? Please talk to me. My memory just flashed back to some things. The Holy Spirit told me. <sighs> Rufalis, there's no problem. God is going to help us. I agreed to marry you. What was standing as a hindrance? The Lord Jesus has removed. So, what else do I need from God? I love you. But we need to be very prayerful about the future. <laughs> Sister Victoria, there's no cause for land. We join hands together to fight against every cancer of the devil and the Lord Jesus. He grant us victory. Amen. Sister Vic, I promise you, no matter what happened to you, I will never leave you. I will always be by your side all the days of our lives. I will accompany you to the very door of your house and, if possible, to your bedroom. My bedroom? Oh, I'm sorry for that ungodly statement. I'm just too excited.
Are you into any relationship? I mean, have you got a life partner? Can't you answer me? I mean, why the hesitation? After all, I am your pastor and your spiritual father and I have a right to know everything about you, especially your marital life. Yes, I am engaged. <sighs> you are engaged. So, why didn't you inform me before giving your consent to this brother? I, I think the right thing for you to do is to tell me, I mean, as your father in the Lord, so that I can at least cancel you and pray along. No, 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 uh, Sister Victoria. I don't think this is good enough. I'm very sorry, sir. It's all right, it's all right. And, um, who is this, um, lucky brother? Pro Felix. Pro Felix. Is it the same Pro Felix, the one I know, or another one? It's Pro Felix Akira. The music director? Yes, sir. 
I say. Um, Bro Felix is a devoted Christian and is blessed with different kinds of spiritual gifts and talent. He is a man enveloped with the grace of God and he has completely sold his life to the work of the Master. In fact, Felix Akeola is one of the very few youths that we can post off in our church today. And ordinarily, I as a father should be very happy and proud that a committed and devoted son is about getting married to yet another committed and devoted daughter of mine. But <sighs> Victoria, the revelation I saw concerning your relationship with him scared me. In fact, it left me broken hearted. And the cut I received in my heart was so deep. The revelation was so bad. No! Don't do it! Victoria, have you forgotten that that scroll contains God's wonderful promises and covenant for your future? This scroll stands for your life. Why have you resolved in your heart to destroy your glorious destiny? Don't put your destiny into the pot of destruction. This is a devouring pot which has devoured many destinies. Why have you chosen to put your life and destiny inside it? I can't sell you. This is why my heart chooses to drop the scroll of my life. It pleases my spirit to hide my destiny here. I don't see this pot as a devouring pot. The pot is so good and beautiful to behold. Without doubt. If I put my scroll inside this thing, nothing will be able to touch it. In fact, the very pest will not get near it. Please, my sweet counselor, permit me to put my destiny inside this beautiful pot. This is a secret place for me. Felix, what are you trying to do? The school inside it belongs to me. You want to destroy my destiny. Are you claim to love me? My love, my flawless one. I can't do what we am you. Remember that your life is my life. All what I'm doing is to preserve your destiny from decay. Oh darling, this kerosene will surely keep away all the devouring paste from the scroll. My darling, my sweet aunt, please, permit me in your love to pour in this oil of protection inside the pot. Felix, if it is for our own good, you are free. Go ahead. Oh, thanks so much. The devil will not separate us. And the fire of love that is burning between us shall never go down. Amen. 
That was what the Holy Spirit showed me about it. Sir, what is the meaning? Victoria, there is just one interpretation to it. If you refuse to obey the Lord your God and choose to marry a man God has not chosen for you, then all the wonderful promises, purpose, and covenants the Lord has said and made concerning you will never come to pass. The Lord said, I should inform you that if you fail to put an end to the relationship, the relationship will eventually terminate your life and destiny. Victoria, by the way, I mean, before you started this relationship, what were the things the Holy Spirit told you about it? Sir, I want to take my leave. You want to take your leave? Man's house and take his belongings without us binding the strong man. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I command every strong man ruling their fears of a German village. I command them to enter into captivities in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, because the scripture says, Oh power, oh power belongs. Jesus belongs to Jesus. All power belongs to Jesus. <laughs> I just called to inform you and that that since I'm through with my master's program, I shall be back to Nigeria in a month's time. That is good of you, my son. Okay, hope you are coming to Nigeria this time around to pick a wife. That is exactly what I'm coming for. Okay, that's good. And secondly, the wedding must take place in the next few months because. I'll be returning back to the United States with my princess. <laughs> okay, that is good. Your dad and I will prepare for that. Eh? Okay, bye. Dear, believe that your son is talking about marriage when he is not even engaged. I trust my boy. He knows what he's saying. 
Are you sure? Princess? <laughs> Take heed, least before. I now understand why Sister Victoria has not been attending church regularly. I asked after her from the church choir master last Sunday, and then um, she said that uh, the last time she attended her practice was about a month ago. Even the prayer unit she coordinates is suffering due to her absence, and. Times without number. I have sent for Brother Felix, but he, he, he has refused to heed my call. I have made several attempts to see him, but it has amounted to nothing. Hmm. The sinner flees when no man pursues him. I have to see you. Please help me tell Victoria that I will be at her. Please, by the grace of God, tomorrow in the morning. Sister Grace, don't look at them as sinners. All we need to do is to pray for them so that God will have mercy upon them and restore them to faith. And He will do it in Jesus' name.
Her condition is very, very critical. We need to rush her to the theater for surgery. Ah! Operation! I implore you to join hands with us in serious prayers. God! Check her when I was coming from the pastor's house yesterday afternoon. And just as I entered her room, I saw her rolling on the floor in a pool of blood. The bleeding was too much. That was why I rushed her to the hospital. I called the pastor and informed him about her condition. Oh my goodness! For God's sake, why do you have to bring the pastor to this? Why did I not call the pastor? When the whole situation had gone beyond my control, and I had no choice. Now to call him. If not for Christ who led me to our place, she will have been dead by now. I sister Victoria. I I the worst has happened. Ah, sir. Please, sir, how, how is her condition? Well, thank God. The operation was successful. She's resting. I assure you that we shall discharge her within the next two weeks. Ah, sir, please. Can I see her? Why not? <laughs> but there is a little problem and it's divine intervention. Please, can we see? Parents live in the village. But by divine providence, I'm also a father. She, she's one of the committed sisters in my church. I took personal interest in her because of her poor background and her great desire to attain high level in her academic pursuit. Uh, but doctor, why are you asking me all these questions? Well, I just want to be sure of the level of relationship between you and the lady. Pastor, I'm afraid. What is it? You can confide in us. What's the problem? What is wrong with her? Well, during the operation, we discovered that those drugs she used to attend the abortion were too harmful. Those drugs damaged her own. Jesus! In order to save her life, we had to cut off her own. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't to Victoria. <laughs> I have to back out of this evil relationship that has a destructive end. I have to break this caution with her 
I'm no longer interested. Oh. Oh. It is ungodly. It is ungodly. <laughs> For the past six months, God has been speaking to me concerning Sister Victoria. The oldest boy said she's going to be my wife. I took my time to seek God's face in prayers and fasting. My pastor in US also prayed along with me. Sir, I am convinced Sister Victoria is the will of God for my life. Mm. I wanted to give her a call last month to tender my proposal, but my pastor demanded I should discuss the matter with you first. Sir, is there anything the matter? Has she got engaged? Not really, my brother. <clears throat> but Sister Victoria has. <clears throat> Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Seek him for the way. You will not go astray. Asking for the way, He will show you the way. Unknown destination is an unknown barrier. Wow! Jesus knows the hand from the beginning. That's the fact. He knows tomorrow, from today don't be hurry Hold on to the Lord, He will save you by His hand Cleave on to the Lord, He will never, never, never let you down yeah. Unknown destination, uncertain location I eventually got her phone number through one of our friends in Nigeria. I'm thinking of giving her a call to tell her my proposal. That's alright. But it's not yet time for proposal. Since Boro we attend this church in Nigeria, I think the right thing to do as a good Christian is to inform your church pastor first and seek his castle. Brother, so since God has spoken to you concerning the lady. You need to exercise patience till you return to Nigeria. Thank you, sir. I will do exactly what you have said. My beloved brother, if Sister Victoria is really meant for you, she will preserve herself till you come. Let me have a word of prayer with you. Thank you, sir. Father in Jesus' name. Pick up yourself to travel back to Nigeria and the Lord go with you. Amen. And carry your footsteps. Amen. This way with you. Amen. Jesus name we pray. Amen. No more. All things work together for good for them that love God. Victoria can no longer fit into the purpose of God for her life. She has broken the covenant. She has frustrated the grace of God and missed her place in destiny. And you remember, God always has a ready-made alternative for everybody. For everything so, there's always a David. And for every confessity, there's always Esther. 
God has found a conscripted person. And help me that will help you in fulfilling the five purpose of God for your life. So, follow me. So you read Genesis chapter 46, verse 31. And Joseph said unto his brethren and unto his father's house, I will go up and show Pharaoh and say unto him, My brethren and my father's house, which were in the land of Canaan, are come unto me. Joseph forgave his brothers. So what is to forgive anyone that offends you? So it is good to forgive. Is it good to forgive or not? It is good to forgive! Is it good to forgive or not? It is good to forgive!
Victoria. You are the one who permitted the devil to succeed in terminating your destiny. Satan did not just cut off your future today, but right from the very day that you started rejecting God's will and counsel for your life. The very day you chose to follow your heart's desire and enter into that unlawful relationship. It was from that day you started cutting down your future hope gradually. The devil just appeared today to complete the work of destruction you began in your life. Ah, ah, ah. Daughter, I warned you several times not to venture into that ungodly relationship. But you wouldn't listen to me. You are not gifts and the things of the eggs that are meant for destruction to consume your heart. <laughs> Felix, the devil just used him as an instrument of destruction to accomplish his mission in your life. for God's time. <laughs> Victoria, you told the Lord Jesus today. He will have mercy on you. And you will have back your broken destiny. Mercy, 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 I need. Oh Lord, mercy, I need. Mercy, Mercy, right need. We are just packing our things now. Uh, our flight is scheduled for 11 30 a.m. Don't bother. The driver will take us to the airport, and mommy will see us off. Amen. Who was that? Julius. Oh, your best man. <laughs> 
My princess, I'm going to miss you. I miss you too, ma. <laughs> <laughs> A blessing. In fact, no one could ever think that that poor girl, Rachel, could marry to the son of one of the richest men in the city. Victor studied in the US. He completed his master's degree a few months ago and he plans to stay permanently in the US. I am not surprised. Rachel deserves such honor. God makes all things beautiful in his own time. For those who patiently wait for him and serve him faithfully. Max, Rachel is truly blessed. Blessed in I am doomed of misdeeds. My destiny has been truncated. I am doomed of misdeeds. My life is totally shattered. Mercy, mercy. Mercy, I need. Oh Lord, mercy, I need. Mercy, mercy, I need. Oh Lord, mercy, I need. I am doomed of misdeed. My destiny has been drunk and dead. I have to have me this. Don't lead God. Allow God to lead you. Victoria, don't run ahead of God's time for your life. It is very, very dangerous. Exercise more patience. I was warned, but I refused. I was cancelled, yet I refused. Don't engage in your life story based on a source of a man who does not know the way or what will be falling tomorrow. It is more reasonable to delay and allow God to go with you and lead you that do not sing and you can invite him at the cracking point of your life. I wish this could be a dream that never comes to reality. <laughs> I wish I could rewind the days of the clock. <laughs> but now, my beautiful bird has fallen into the snare, <laughs> and my cross teams are shattered. I have missed the best of God for my life. <laughs> Do I really have a better alternative? Mercy, mercy, I need. See 
Mercy, mercy, I need.